Can the panel explain why, in a modern day Scotland, I can call my GP 475 times and I still don't go through to speak to either a receptionist or a GP? The fact is, GPs are not part of the NHS and that they are independent of the NHS and are funded to and contracted to do work. They are um, uh, individual businesses, if you like, that are contracted to the NHS to provide that service. So one of the things we can look at is more recruitment for um, salaried GPs within uh, the NHS to try and, and uh, augment some of this. 2,000 we short bigger, at the moment. We, oh, we, need, we need better recruitment. Um, that's all a model that is really challenging going forward. Well, the BMA say one in, want... one in four GPs in Scotland are thinking of getting out in the next two yes. years. Monica mm -hmm. Lennon, what did we do about this? Well, first of all, Jacqueline is owed an apology. And I know maybe Claire can't speak for the government, but you are the party of government. But the reality is there are far too many people right now not getting the care they need this morning in the Scottish Parliament, I was appearing at the Public Petitions Committee to support a local woman from this area, in the Motherwell area, whose partner sadly died by suicide, and that was before the pandemic. She has been campaigning to get a deep review of mental health provision. This was a crisis before the pandemic happened in terms of workforce planning and resources for the NHS. It's, it's a life or death situation. We've also got a situation right here in the Motherwell and Wishaw area, where the Scottish Government, and Claire agrees with the Government on this, that they want to downgrade Wishaw's neonatal <laughs> intensive care unit. Which, if you don't already know, is the best in the UK, award-winning. The staff are amazing. And the constituents who have been in touch with me across Lanarkshire, they are so angry and upset and so worried. Well, let's, let's hear from them tonight. Lady in the striped dress. God forbid these babies deliver an ambulances by the side of the road because it will not be in their best interest or it will be delivered and then moved because that affects morbidity and mortality for these small, sick babies massively.